Hello and thank you for watching my video. My name is Astrid Krasnici. I'm CCNA and CCMP certified instructor. Today we are covering CCNA Security Chapter 10, Advanced Cisco Adaptive Security Appliance. Chapter 10 is divided in two sections. We have Section 10.1 ASA Security Device Manager and Section 10.2 ASA VPN Configuration. This is Section 10.1 ASA Security Device Manager. Now, upon completion of this section, you should be able to, in part one, we set it up uh, ASA V, virtual ASA on GNS3. Um, now, this is not a Cisco exam content, but I'm just explaining how to do ASA, on how to configure ASA on GNS, rather than purchase your own ASA. And then in part two, we configure an ASA to provide basic firewall services using ASDM. And then we configure an ASA to provide additional firewall services using ASDM wizard. Configure management setting and services in ASA using ASDM and configure object groups on ASA. Now this part what section 10.1 ASA security device manager it is divided in two parts, so two videos. Part one, we set it up the ASA, we get it all ready, nice and ready, and then we start a new video. Part two, we start configuring. Okay, so without going any further, let me just stop this. And I've got my GNS working, running there. And I've got a virtual machine here, PCA, that's going to be acting as a, our client machine to access that GNS okay, uh, or ASDM. Now, to configure, I've got the ASA here, ASA v, uh, virtual ASA uh, 9.61. So this, how to configure this ASA, how to get it up to this section. So how to configure this ASA V or virtual ASA to get it to this point is actually working. You need to follow this link, how, and this is a step-by-step -step how to configure an ASA. Very, very good, very detailed, and it works. If you just follow to the letter, everything should be fine. And you will get to this point where you get your ASA. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to uh, connect. Uh, here we put a switch, and I'll put, a, I'll put the cloud for the... PC, where the PC is connected, that virtual PC, or VMware PC. Okay, so XP12, that's my computer. Yep, we do, we want to use that, so okay. Okay, it's on. I'll close this. So I've got the ASA, I've got Switch 1, and I've got Cloud 1. That's going to be our virtual PC. Now, if I look at the virtual PC, the configuration, so if I look at this... Uh, PCA is connected to in uh, go to settings and network adapter is in VMnet 10. So if I look at my PC um, here, open network and sharing, and network 10 is uh, Ethernet 7. So let's go to details here. No, that's that's a loop back. Let's get eight. Let's have a look. Yeah, VMnet 10. So Ethernet 8. Is my uh, VMnet 10. So Ethernet 8, click on there. Um, cloud, so I'll connect Ethernet 8 to the switch. And then from the switch, doesn't matter what port you're using, G00 is the interface that I'm going to be connecting to my uh, ASA router or ASA device. Okay, so this you can change it you can change the, the if you want the, mo, uh, the symbol it can be a pc or anything like that but it's not very um there we go that's it that's my physical physical machine so here this pc i'm going to give an ip address um, so for example uh, it's got uh, 192.168.100.10 uh, slash 94 and the aasa is going to have 100.1-24. Okay, so I'll go connection here to the PC. If I can look at the PC, it's already got that IP address. So to see the IP address, CMD, IP config, and 181.68.1.101. Okay, so we need to change IP address actually. So I'll go to control panel and uh, network and internet, network and sharing, Change adaptive settings, right click here, properties. You, you you should be able to do this very easy with your eyes closed. 
what I do once I say dot one hundred dot ten because I I reverted that's that's why all this has been changed. Okay, so one hundred dot one. Yep. I hope your eyesight is very good because these are very small. Okay. Now what we're gonna do? We're gonna start our GNS. So I'm gonna pause the video a few times because this is this will take very long time. Okay, so right click, start, and I need to go to the console. So right click, go to console. This will open my GNS console. I'm gonna pause the video and come back when it's ready. Okay, it took about 15 minutes to get to this point. Um, no, about 10 to 15 minutes anyway. It did reboot like three times, two times. <coughs> okay, so what we need to do, um, okay, yeah, this is not a licensed uh, version. What we need to do, we need to um, enable. There's no password here, so just press enter. And we are in the privilege mode. So that was user mode, and then we are in privilege mode. So now, what we have to do is we have to configure this interface as our inside interface, give an IP address, and um, and do not shut down. So config T. Okay, you have like a, a, a smart call home, smart call home, like notification for if you want to send uh, anonymous reports, error reports to help improve the Cisco. But here, no, because it's a lab, so we just say no here, and press uh, enter. Now interface interface G zero zero. We have to do uh, name inside and you can see the security level is already set to 100 as soon as you put inside interface and um, you can do it yourself just to uh, security level 100 if you want but you don't have to really you can just check to change it if you want give an IP address so IP address uh, 192.168.100.1 and the subject mask slash 24 and then no shutdown end here we can do show interface IP brief yeah different to iOS yeah show IP interface brief here show interface IP brief we can see the interface G00 it's got that, that IP address and status is up layer 1 and layer 2 is up as well okay so what we have to do is uh, we can try and ping now from the PC we should be able to communicate from the PC to let me maximize this so we can see better um, Go ping 192.168.100.1 and we have a reply there. Cool, very good. So go back, just hover there, that thing will come down. If I pin it, it will never leave. And go to my router, say ping the PC 192.168.100.10 and yep, there is a communication here between the PC and the router. Now, one thing what we have to do is um, configure the HTTP, so HTTP, um, two piece, HTTP server enable. So we have to enable the HTTP server so that people can, uh, well, the client can come through ASDM, through the web browser, that's what we want anyway. Um, now, is HTTPS actually, uh, Cisco router will use uh, SSH for connection, for encryption, the traffic. And um, we have to tell which IP address we allow it. So 192.168.168.100.0 with the subnet 255.255.0 inside network will be allowed to HTTP to, to that a, 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 ASA version. Okay. Now, as far as if it was a physical uh, ASA, that's it. There's nothing more. You can just go to the PC and um, to that virtual PC go to that virtual PC and start a web browser and put that IP address of the ASA there. So you put like uh, HTTP, let's move over here, uh, HTTPS, so HTTP, uh, HTTPS, and then the IP address, 192.168.100.1. But now, because it's not, a, it's not a physical ASA, what one more thing that we have to do, we have to uh, send this. ASDM in the virtual machine, so it's not it's not um, on that virtual ASA because it's not there by default. So the way we can do this, we can use a TFTP server to send this file to the ASA. So open the TFTP server, any TFTP server will do. So open your TFTP server, 
copy that file so right click copy and put it in TFTP here control V and it's there okay so now what we have to do we have to copy this file from this uh, uh, PC to the TFTP uh, to the uh, ASA so if I go to the ASA let's say um, exit here copy TFTP to um, disk press enter uh, address of the PC 192.168.100.10 and the file name the source file name so if I go to my uh, PC and that's going to be the ASDM hyphen 61 dot bin right so ASDM hyphen right my memory um, a little bit 61 dot bin 621. That's it. And destination file name. Um, we can use the same one, but I already have it there, so you don't have to put the same one. Um, you have to. You can just press enter here, but uh, I can put it different because it's not. I already have it there. So accessing the TFTP server, it will start it, and it will continue to to copy this. Again, I'll pause the video and once we're ready, come back to it. Okay, it's done. Let's copy that. Um, so now we have to go to the PC. It's already a we got ASDM there. Um, close this. We don't need it anymore. Open the, the any any explorer. Can do. So let me maximize this and um, yeah, it's missing the IP address. And this goes 192.168.100.1, press enter. Okay, so you got this window. Now we can see that there it says this is a problem with the website security certificate because ASA has self-signed the certificate. And we are we know who we're connecting to. So we say continue to the website. Not recommended, but yes, we know that we are connecting to the correct ASA. Okay, now you get this video window. Do you want to run the ASA installed ASDM launcher, or do you want to run it the installed Java web support? Java web support is required to run ASDM, but the, the ASDM is not installed on this computer. Now, if you really gonna manage your ASDM, you really, uh, from this computer, install it in this ASDM. Install it on this computer. So install ASDM. Now here, for username and password, we haven't put anything on the ASDM, so we just press OK here. And do you want to run this file? Yes, we do. The publisher uh, could not be ver verified, so that we have another error here. Let's say, are you sure security warning? Because uh, the, the certificate is not correct. Yes, we are sure. Here to continue installing your ASDM, um, click next, next, all these next, next until finish. And finish. Okay, here now we have to put the IP address of our ASDM, so 192.168.100.1. Username and password is blank because we haven't put anything. Click OK here. Again, another warning. The connection to this website is untrusted. The certificate is not valid and cannot be used to verify the identity of the website. Um, yeah, that's fine. And I was going to build the uh, software updates for from the router. It says here there is no active ASAV platform license installed. ASAV is running in degraded mode. Through the box, uh, through the box firewall traffic will, will be rated limited to 100 kilobits per second, and connection limit to 100 connection will be imposed. Yes, yeah, so it's okay. Okay. 
Okay, so now we have an access to our um, ASA on our GNS. So if you go here, we, we have access to this ASA um, through the virtual, uh, well, through the ASDM. So our router, our ASA, ASA router can be managed using command line interface or we can manage it through using GUI, graphical user interface. Now, command line interface is much faster, but it does require for you to learn uh, all the commands. Now, ASA through, G, through GUI, ASDM, it's a lot easier to configure because most of the commands are hidden from us. And we just click and select and click OK, and then we pretty much configured it. So Cisco ASDM is Java-based GUI and the tools and hides the complexity of commands from administrator and allows you to configure without requiring extensive knowledge of ASA command line interface. So here we have a, a using SSL for our encryption and um, it also provides a quick conf uh, configuration wizards and login and monitoring functionality that is not available so as well as it does provide you quick configuration modules, there's some of them that are not, uh, and monitoring as well, because like monitoring is not available on the command line interface. Now, I think I'm going to, I'm going to break up. I'm going to cut that video and uh, finish the part one now. So um, we can continue with part two of our um, requirements. So part one, setting up an ASA on GNS3. Uh, this wasn't a Cisco exam content, but we had to uh, just go through it and see what we have to do. Um, to get to get this ASA ASA virtual ASA again follow this link at gns3.com and um, this is very good explanation how to get your ASA running you're gonna need to download the um, ASA virtual but you should do you should be able to do that okay thank you very much for watching and we're gonna see you in the next video which is to configure an ASA uh, for basic firewall services and configure additional services. Bye-bye.